When I was at Murph this year, I had the chance to meet a lot of really awesome people, and amongst them was Sean over at IC3D. He had been talking to me for a bit on Twitter beforehand, and when he took a look at my arcade cabinet, he said, you know, this is the kind of thing that my company would like to get involved in, and if you've got some future projects going on, let me know and I'll see what my boss says. So after I got back, I had some ideas and I did some 3D modeling, and when the time finally came, I sent him a list of the projects I was working on and some 3D model pictures and said, you know, is there any of these that your company would like to back? And he responded with, all of them. So yesterday I got home and these two boxes were waiting for me out on my front step. So now it's time to see what's in the boxes uh, what's in the box? and what awesome things we're going to do with them. Let's tear into box one. So right off the bat, we have a five pound roll of black. And this is black PLA, 1.75 millimeters. And as you can see, that is in fact IC3D's brand. Now this is a much bigger spool than I've ever dealt with before. I can't wait to see what they look like in person. That is just massive. Look at that. It's bigger than your face. Let's see what else is in there. We have another roll of black. And another roll of black. Sensing a theme here. <laughs> and we have two more rolls of black just like those. Okay, well that is a lot of black filament. I can't wait to see what's in the other box. I've got this letter from Sean himself that says, James, your work is stunning. I hope to see more cabinets from you in the future. Don't stop creating, loving, and being passionate. Sean, and from your friends at IC3D. I can promise you that that is never going to change. So we've got a roll of white, 1.75 millimeter PLA. We've got a roll of blue in that super gigantic box. We have a roll of red. We have another roll of red and a roll of orange. Well, I think we should crack into these and see what these colors look like. I don't know about you guys. Well, we can start with the roll of black that we cracked open earlier. Although I do have to admit, I have used some of their black filling before. And it is very nice. I'm not going to crack open the bags, hopefully through the box you can see well enough, because I don't want to start having them take on moisture and whatnot. Now this is a real, actually you know what, it's a resealable bag, look at that. Right off the bat, in a resealable bag, we got some nice IC3D stickers here. I feel like I'm going to be decorating a lot of my stuff with those stickers. And we have a nice, dark, shiny, black PLA, and that is just an absolutely massive roll. Uh, it's gonna be nice to be able to do a print without having to worry about running out of filament halfway through. Well, there's the black. We'll have to rebag these after the after we're done. There is the white, which is a nice, very pure looking white. It's fantastic. This blue. I'm a sucker for blue filament, and uh, I'm always excited to crack open a new one. I don't think I've ever met a blue filament that I didn't like. And this blue is no exception. That is just a fantastic shade. Let's pull that out of the bag so you guys can get a look at it. I'm going to have so many of these stickers by the time we're done. Look at that shade of blue. Look at how nice and rich that is. Oh, I'm gonna make some beautiful stuff out of this, I can tell you right now. Right. 
I'll have to save all my desiccant for later. Oh, that's a nice vibrant red as well. I do like the look of that. I know I keep saying it, but I can't get over how big these rolls are. It's ridiculous. Each one at least is five pounds. Live to win till you die. Mm. Mm. I need to get into shape. Ah, oh, there's just something about the smell of fresh PLA in the morning. I really like how closely the shades represent on their logo. It'd be really easy to print a nice copy of their logo with this stuff here. I feel like that's probably intentional. And the last color we have to crack open is the orange. Orange has become absolutely iconic with 3D printing because, uh, well, first of all, Fuchsia's printers are all done in the orange. And it, it just seems to be what people associate with 3D printed printers. Here we have a nice light orange that again is pretty close to the shade that is on their logo. There we go. So these are just massive. I feel like the table's actually wowing a little bit underneath them. And that's uh, that's not even half of what they sent, or it's about half what they sent. So right off the bat, this gives a kind of first world problem because I don't have anything that is gonna be able to handle this in terms of a spool holder. But that's okay because I have enough filament to make one and I have Fusion 360. Now at the bottom of the box, they did include one more awesome thing, and I'm looking forward to, hopefully soon, being able to fit into this bad boy right here. That is an absolutely awesome looking IC3D shirt, and it's actually a really nice material. It's nice and thin, and it's very soft, so I know they're not a shirt company, but it's still well done. Thanks for sticking around to the end of this video. If you found it helpful or informative, toss me a thumbs up. If not, let me know in the comments what I can do to improve or let me know if you have any questions. If you're new here, subscribe and click the bell. And uh, thank you to everybody that's been supporting me through Patreon and through donations during live streams. You've really helped the channel grow. If you'd like to help me out, there's links to my Patreon and other things through my YouTube profile, so go ahead and check them out. Alrighty, well that's it for this one, and until next time, stay creative. I'll see what they can do.